Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to change the system product name on your Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match to come back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you can easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is just select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. And then you would select open to open up the backup. So pretty straightforward. And now we're going to begin. So we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. So double click on that. Do the same thing for Microsoft. And now you want to locate the Windows folder. So scroll down. And then you want to double click on that. Locate the current version folder and double click on it. And then finally, there should be an OEM information folder right here. You're going to go ahead and right click on it, select new, and then select string value. For the string value, you want to name it model, M-O-D-E-L, and hit enter. And then once you've done that, go ahead and double click on it. You can set the value data to whatever model name you want. I'm going to call it um, MD Tech. Videos, Computer, Builders, and I'm going to select OK to save that. And then once you're done with that, you will need to go ahead and restart your computer in order for the change to take effect. And now we're going to open up the search menu, type in settings, best match to come back with settings, go ahead and open that up. And then on the right side, you can see our model name has appeared under here. And even if you click rename, it's just renaming your computer name. It's not the model name as you see here. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope I will help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.